Good morning, welcome to another episode of Crime Pace. Today we're in a Cornell University herbarium in beautiful Ithaca, New York. They actually did let me in here, I was surprised. And today we're going to take you on a trip around the world looking at our plant life without ever leaving this room. Let's go. Curtis's Botanical Magazine. Anna just told me about it, I'd never heard of it before. I guess I, I'm somewhat lowbrow, but uh, still, uh, 1787, first, this is the first issue. And look at that wonderful gentian. Beautiful uh, gentiana plate they have. That's incredible. How do you guys come up on all this stuff? That's amazing. <laughs> this is... well, a lot of these were, were uh, Bailey's own, mm -hmm. uh, from Bailey's own library that he gave to Cornell when he retired. Wow. That is remarkable. Yeah, I've, I've, <laughs> I've never seen a 400 year old book before. That's just a. Uh... God, what is it bound in? Oh my God. Oh, in, uh, Some sort of hide. Yeah, hide. Yeah. Like a pigskin. The old pigskin. What the hell? This, so this is a this is a 500 year old book. Oh no, that's that's a reprint, huh? 1678. <laughs> oh, okay, only only 400 years, a little under 400. Still impressive. <laughs> Here's Gerard's herbal. Maybe you've heard of that. Now, what year is it? 1633. You know, if it's not older than 1625, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, my Joseph God. Joseph Banks had 1801. Yeah, please don't handle. Probably the, I'm surprised the paper is still. God, that's in, that's incredible. Very lovely diagrams, too. Look at those. Yeah, Akash just pointed out this is this is a this is a yucca, which I didn't I wasn't even looking. I was too bad, too busy making fun of their spelling. But uh, <laughs> that's incredible. So this is this is almost 400 years ago, possibly one of the first descriptions of, of yucca. The Fupoft Indian what the hell does that mean? I don't know what the fuck that means. The, the Fupoft Indian plant, thick tuberous root. Who's this goofy stuff? These goofy guys. I don't know what they're saying over. Farf to be endured by piercing into the mouth and throat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading that in an Irish yeah, accent. You know if I. Even the air was infected. The air you spelled, yeah. this is just written with typographical errors. They didn't have spell check back then, apparently. What year are we talking here? Oh, 1640. All right, I'll give them a pass. There's a lot of spelling errors in here. So, but they do have nice artwork, nice drawings. Yeah, pre, pre Linnaean. So you could tell that, I mean, they were still calling it yucca back then. So you could tell that the, the etymology of that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that plant goes back quite a, quite a ways. So these were all these were all wood blocks. Yes. Wow. And then lead, uh, and lead, lead types it. Around it in the God. Valley. Um, and these were copied from book to book, often. So with every passing century, you'd have less and less reality, I suppose, represented by the mm -hmm. by the image. So these you can't really consider these to be scientific illustrations. Right. They're more indications. <laughs> right, right. But that's what herbals were. I mean, this is all yeah. pre linnaean so there was just an, you said it was right. an, called but an the, herbal. An herbal. Yeah. So the artists for these um, later ones were not working from a plant. They were working from another drawing. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or another wood but they got the they got the gallium, right? Where was that again? Can you, they called it matter. Yeah. We just seen. Yeah, we still it, call it matter. Right. Or they, no, it was, they were calling it rubia. Rubia yeah. was the genus. If right. Was, if you want to say Rubiaceae. I don't know that they were. Ah, we lost it, but it was cool. <laughs> God, those blocks are pretty, too. Yeah. What was the ink? Do you know? No. Mm. I don't know. There you go. That looks like a galium. Yeah, look at that. Rubia. God, that's crazy. 400 years. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's the title. But then it was republished in England as Joyful News Out of the Newfound World. Right. Spagnola Nella. It's, I don't know what that is. Those are my, my ancestors, but I can't speak Italian for goddamn anything. No. Anyway, that's the first tobacco. The first tobacco printed book. Wow. I'm so sure. this was the first news, aside from bringing actual plant material itself to Europe, this was the first news to Europe that it even existed. Well, I can't say that. This is the first printed image. Printed, yeah, printed. Yeah, <laughs> right. There you go. There were probably codexes that had um, hand-drawn, you know, tobacco yeah. in them. But they were manuscripts, you know, they weren't in the printed book. Yeah. Image. We got the flowers right. That's nice. We have a lot Look here. at this. Look at how nice that, that for this delphinium <laughs> plate. Yeah, or delphinium block, excuse me. The National Library has more, Look but um, they don't have everything we have or vice versa. 
Get that. Gotta get these out. Nice exercise. There you go. That's how you. That's how you take an herbary pressing of a cactus. Look at that Milo cactus. What is it? Lamerae. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful look. And then the, I got to start doing this on my herbarium session, putting a little map in there so you can tell where it is. I've been there, collected near the Haitian border uh, in the Dominican Republic. There you go. That's creative too. See that? Just a cross section and then a slice of a rib with the spines on it. How about that? Trichocereus johnsonii. Neo abadia paniculata. It just appears to just be pith, just pith tissue. It's creative, a little section of spines, and then should there be any doubt about what the hell you're looking at, they got a nice photograph in there to clear it up. From Haiti, Neo Abadia paniculata. Looks strikingly like Dendrocereus or uh, some of the other tree uh, cactoids down there. It's got to take a long time to dry that. You got to scoop out, you know, you slice open the back, scoop out that mucilaginous tissue, and then press it. <laughs> press it in a dryer with a fan and a heat lamp, I suppose. Opuntia tortoise spina. God, I don't even know. When was this collected? Jesus Christ, when is that? Oh, 1921. How about that? Pilostyles thurberi, an endophytic parasite. That's an excellent specimen of that. And Dahlia. See, it's just, just a little flowers popping out. It smells really good when it's blooming. Pollinated by Lepidopterans. Look at that. So we have a we have a 120-year-old collection from 1905 of Pilostyles thurberi. And then you get this really nice, look at that beautiful diagram. Oh, Christ, I don't want to drive it. A beautiful diagram. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Holy hell. I wonder what book this came out of. And then another parasite from the same family, Apodanthes, but very hard to uh, press, apparently. So they got the host, and uh, and then they just, there's all the crumpled flowers. So presumably another endophyte. Look at all that woody tissue, too. And what, what date is this from? 1988. Oh, 80s. Bring back Flacordiaceae. I think that's just the species epithet, but just seeing the, yeah. the, the, the dumping ground family. There you go. There's yeah. some nice, some nice Apodanthes for you from 1931 from Panama. Jesus. It's little flowers. Yeah, it just looks like Pilostyles, basically. Yeah. Look at that. Campan Campanema. From Tasmania, Southern Hemisphere lilies. Man, man, Cornell has it all. They got everything. I wonder who was studying this. Hmm. That is a weird one. Campanomanth from New Caledonia. That'd be a cool one to have. Yeah. Any Campanomanth in there? No. And of course, I had to check, but the bizarre family Corsiaceae, home to the genus Arachnitis, that really weird mycoheterotroph down there in Patagonia. But alas, no specimens in this family, <laughs> apparently. One day, someone's got to go down there and collect it. That's an ornate herbarium label. Look at that. Chucky Uraga from the, the, that bizarre subfamily Asteraceae with the really weird pappus hairs. Got barbed pappus hairs. Armed. They're, most of them are armed. All from South America. And this is, uh, what's the year on this again? 1948. Look at that. That beautiful type font. Too, that, like World War II, uh, you know, World War II movie type font. <laughs> nice diagrams. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's awesome. Aranacea. Look at that. Look how densely armed that is. Turning its leaves into spines. You want to talk armed armed composites, armed sunflowers, armed dinosaur sunflowers, because this is the most basal subfamily in the whole family. Look at it. Armed leaves. Just turning those leaves into spines. More than the last one we looked at. Look at that. And it's remarkably well preserved for uh, 1915. You know, that's before they had the GPS, so you couldn't put the, you know, there's no risk of, uh, you know, giving away locations here. Rio Negro. Christ. That's pretty cool. Going down there in Argentina in 1915. I mean, someone's got a patent the herbarium cabinet smell. Oh, I'd, I'd fill my car with it. You know, make a little spray. This is atherosperma cabinet. Atherosperma's in here. <laughs> Some of these smell really good, you know, but not the valerians. The valerians stink, right? That was the foot smell. Yep. Oh, right. okay. We're looking for Balanophoraceae, but this cabinet smells especially pleasant. You got, I don't know, maybe it's the Seba. Seba pen. Ah, oh, like incense. What is it? How would you describe that? Almost smells, kind of smells like OSHA root, like OSHA and paper. It's nice. Very, very. Yeah, I smell the paper. Yeah. Yeah, well, the paper's <laughs> nice, though. Look, baobab fruit. So it's cultivated from Cuba, mm -hmm. but, uh, and what is that, Adansonia? What's a digit? Okay, it's the, uh, the, uh, the typical species people are referring to when they say baobab. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that large. Oh my God. And all the fluff, too. So they're windborne seed. That's great, man. That is really, 
Yeah, fluffy stuff. That's nice. And then we got Amberella. We'll finish it off with a beautiful Amberella. Where were the little, uh, didn't they have, a, just in case anyone's lacking context, didn't they have the little, um, they had the a newspaper the article. Map. That was oh, nice. The, oh, the <laughs> article, yeah. Just in case anyone forgets, you know. That's nice, you know, because this is, they probably put this in there before the age of the internet, you know. So just in case you didn't know what you were looking at, scientists unveil. There you go. I guess there's a date on there probably. Oh, yeah, 1999. So uh, this before Al Gore created the internet, before everyone had a smartphone and could look it up. But there you go. The uh, At the base of the uh, flowering plant family tree, that's nice. You can get those little fruits on there. Probably still good because they take a long time to germinate. Hmm. Who knows? Actually, you know what? They probably dry out. They're, they're not. Uh, they're probably recalcitrant. But what well, was cool, where'd that one go that had the uh, algae on the leaves? Because that was something I noticed when I seen this it. One, this one. And habitat there. Yeah, look at that. Still got it. So you, this, there needs to be another herbarium. Uh, mm. voucher for the, the algae on there because we yeah. <laughs> wonder what it is probably a few species that's nice though and got looks like the leaves got murked a little bit but new caledonia is a notoriously hard place to dry herbarium specimens i suppose at least if you're in the field and of course look there you got it. just in case maybe you know collected some wood just in case anyone ever wants to look at the vascular tissue under a microscope because it's so notably different from the rest of the flower and plants yeah, I knew these were gonna be cool. All the all the parasites are. The plant this is okay, what was the, the genus and species on this guy again? Sisabalium jemekens? Yep. Sick balium. Ah, it's lost its color, which was probably very uh, lovely, but uh, you can still get an idea. It's just a little cone shaped rod poking out. Oh, I wonder if you guys have Hidnora. If you guys have Hidnora, I'll uh, I'll I'll leave. I'll be so impressed I'll have to leave. <laughs> so but it may not be here. And maybe, yeah, box up and ready to go, uh, but not in the case. Oh, my God. So it's not, okay, not hidden aura, but we have, is the, but we do have, this is still equally cool. This is the quote-unquote New World one. Ah. Uh, Prosopanky Americana. This is, I think it's Central American? Where was it? Yeah, oh, it's South American, Argentina. Oh, look at that. God, it's so weird. How do you get so weird? How'd you get so weird? Nothing wrong with that. Just curious how you did it. Look at that. It looks like a little mouth. Like, that's the most alien-looking plant. Any any Hidnora, though? Yeah. Any, oh, my God, really? Just one. Oh. oh, look at that. Look at that. You weird and beautiful bastard. Look at that. God damn, what does it say what the host was? Look at this thing. You got to look. If you've never heard of Hidnora, you need to look this one up. That is a really... I think they're parasitizing oh, phobia. Oh, really? Oh. Apparently excavated and abandoned by baboons. Oh, ah. Oh. Which eat the ripe fruit. Those wily to bastards. That a reason we can't have nice things. Look at that. This is a this is excellent too. You could tell pre-internet age they had to put this down there so people could get all the all the straight dope on it, you know, yeah. and learn how cool <laughs> it's. I just love that someone was so excited about this, and you know, so it's such a remarkable plant. They felt compelled to put this. Wow. Probably on a euphorbia. I think that's the main thing they parasitize. Louie, where are you going? What are you what are you doing? Excuse me, Louie. Please come here. All right, get over here. Come on. What are you doing? Come on, just sit down. Be good. Okay, well, Anna, that's I that's it. I have to leave now. So all right, okay. thank you so much. I really I'm grateful. So, grateful for your time. Good. That's a, that's amazing. Hopefully I didn't annoy you too much. Oh, no. Too much. No, I I watch your stuff. I know, oh, thank I know you. how uh, how uh, <laughs> I know everything. You, you knew what was coming. Okay, good. Yeah, I try to put a filter on when I come into academia, but you know, thanks a lot. Oh you're welcome. Yeah, that's so weird. I just seen it in color too. I mean it it looks like some sort of weird alien egg hatching. <laughs> It's like a like a like pink and meaty inside. Oh god, it's so disturbing but cool. That's incredible. Well, now I get an idea of size too. So, granted, this is dried, but it was you get a rough estimate of size. Oh, that's so cool. Arista locialis, so distantly distantly related to pipe vine, but in its own family. Not, well, more closely related to pipe vine than anything else. And what's this photo? Oh, there you go. Oh Christ. Oh, this is like, this is vintage photography paper. Look at that. See that? You see all the androecium in there? And, oh, my God. See, look at the, it's got teeth. It's a plant with, almost looks like it's got teeth. It's so fucking weird, man. I wonder if anyone's cultivated it. I think I had heard someone had, but who knows. Okay, so the baboons just picked it too early. That's all that happens. They were just, they weren't, they weren't, uh, they, didn't, they didn't have any patience.
<laughs> you know, which is, from what I know about baboons, my brief experiences with them, I can say that's can attest to Typical, that. Typical, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so from Argentina, collected in 91. Musselman, thank you, sir. I know you were doing it for science, but still we get to live vicariously through you and appreciate a prosopanky. This whole family is here, but you can see it's got this a similar thing going on with this kind of egg thing, this opening uh, that uh, Hidden Aura has. Just, uh, yeah. But no macro shots of, uh, you know, Andrew Weesium or Gaia Weesium or anything, but still pretty cool.